Hello everyone, Fi here, and today we will be unboxing the Limo Studio Continuous Lighting Kit with Umbrellas. Here I am now opening the box and taking out the contents, the umbrellas, the carrying bag, a bag for lights, the lights themselves, the stands, And that's it. And that is the complete set. This is the bag they send you to, I believe, store your lights in. But I don't really think that it's very safe to do so. As you can see, there's nothing really protecting the lights once they're inside there. And in just a moment, I will show you the quality of the light stands that I'm unboxing now, or a lack thereof. After that, I was a little concerned, but I wanted to give the kit a fair chance. Keep in mind that I do own another Limo Studio lighting set, which is lighting me in this video behind the camera. That kit, I am a huge fan of. It is the LED daylight bulb set, and I can't speak highly of it enough. Here, I will be showing you the light bulb that comes with the kit comes in a styrofoam protector and it looks something like that. Next I'll be showing you the hot shoe slash umbrella adapter that comes with the kit. This is by far my favorite part of this entire set. This holds your light as well as a place to put the umbrella. Here I'm showing you that you can twist this and pull this down, you will then be able to put it on your light stand. And now I will demonstrate putting the hot shoe onto the light stand itself. Just simply unscrew, slide it on and screw it back on. Next I will be putting together the second light stand exactly the same as the first. Now I'm going to unbox the miniature light stand, but to listen. Much like the first light stand, and subsequently the second, the miniature light stand also seems very rickety and not very well made. Now, I will be putting the light bulbs into the adapter. It's a very simple process. You screw in the light bulb into the appropriate part. Here I'm saying that the light bulbs are 45 watts and 120 volts. And I'm going to do the same thing with the other stand. I'm showing you that this is a third light that would ideally go on to the smaller stand, but I'm electing not to use it, at least not yet. Here, I am taking out the umbrella
and I'm actually quite impressed with the quality. So at least the umbrellas and the hot shoe adapter are both well made. I'm showing you here on the hot shoe adapter where exactly the umbrella goes into. You unscrew that little knob there and slide the umbrella in and then screw the knob back to tighten it to keep the umbrella in place. Like so. Here I'm demonstrating how light the entire thing is. And now I do the same thing with the second stand where I add the umbrella. And now it's about time to go back and plug them in so you can see how they work in real time. There's the first one. And there's the second. Real quick, I would like to show you that on the back is a switch where you turn the light on and off right there. So there are both lights turned on, but I'm going to show you right now. I have the other Limo Studio set up and running there. There is the other. And there's a third light directly behind the camera as well. So I'm going to slowly turn off each light one by one. And here is the lighting kit with all the other lights off. Now I'm turning the lights sideways so they're facing me more so you can see how the subject would be lit if you were standing in front of the camera using these lights to light yourself. Now I'm going to show you what the lights would look like lighting you without the umbrellas and just the bare bulb. Here I'm turning the lights towards the camera so you can see the brightness firsthand. Now I'm putting together the third light stand, the mini one, with the hot shoe adapter and the light bulb in so you can see the entire set all lit up. And that is. I decided to do a bonus video here where I'm showing you the lights close up. That is right beside me with the umbrella on and there's the other one also with the umbrella. As you can see I'm not very impressed with the light. I did this close up so you can see the output rather than seeing them far away. There's one with the umbrella on and this one, the umbrella has been taken off. So you can see the difference in light on each side of my face. Now, both umbrellas have been taken off. This way you can see the light bare bulb facing me about a foot and a half away from the camera. Here I'm putting the umbrellas back on and I button myself there and I'm doing the same thing here and button myself again. Be careful, the lights are very, very hot. 
Hello everyone, Fi here. I know I just did the voiceover unboxing of the Limo Studio um, lighting kit with umbrellas. But I had to give my personal review. I'm not a fan at all. I'm actually lighting myself currently with the other Limo Studio LED daylight bulbs back there, which are brilliant. And these are also Limo Studio, so I expected them to work just as good. Uh, granted, they're a different kind of light. That's an LED day light bulb. It's going to be brighter. These are just regular bulbs. They are 45 watts, 120 volts. So they, I don't know the voltage and whatnot of those lights, but these are way brighter. They're lighting me from all the way across the room. These could barely light me standing right beside me on either side. And the only time they did light well is if I didn't have the umbrellas on, but then it was harsh light. I had purchased these because I wanted a second setup in my computer room for unboxings, as well as I needed an extra set of umbrellas. Real quickly, the pros and cons. Pros, umbrellas are nice. They're very, very nice. They are good material, they're sturdy. They're really nice umbrellas. The shoes that go onto the light stand, these are some of the finest made um, shoe adapters I have ever seen in my life and that is not that is without hyperbole these are nice the problem with these usually is that the piece that right here that tilts it up and down feels really cheap like it could break this does not I'm pretty sure this will last me for a long time I'm very impressed very very impressed now if the rest of the kit was made with the same quality I'd be a lot happier. I don't like the light bulbs, they're not bright enough. They get hot to the touch very, very quickly, like within seconds. I understand they're a 45 watt bulb with 120 volts, but they get hot almost immediately. The stands are my least favorite thing of the entire set. They all feel cheap and rickety. Uh, do I have the smaller one here? I'm just shaking it up and down. It's really, really flimsy. I'm not going to shake these two because obviously they're set up and the lights are on them, but they're just as flimsy feeling, which is odd because the LED daylight bulb set, the entire thing feels sturdy and strong. There's not a thing I dislike about that set at all. I love it. This is the exact opposite. If not for this amazing shoe here and the umbrellas, this would be a total bust. But sadly, I needed these for light stands and for new lights. I do need the umbrellas, but I can just get different umbrellas or look for another kit. I am sadly going to have to send this back. I'm not saying this won't work for you. If you have no lights at all and you need something inexpensive to lighten your videos or if you want to use it for fill light for photography or whatever, these very well may work for you. I need them to be stronger. I need them to be sturdier. I would not trust to leave these on the stands for a long period of time. But I love tiny light stands. That is the shoddiest made one I have ever seen or owned or used yet. So if you just want some fill light and you're not really worried about durability or the stands being sturdy, if you just need something, something's better than nothing. I already have something back there. I needed something just as good to complement what I already have, and this wasn't it for me. This isn't a knock on Limo Studio. I think these lights back there are amazing. They are some of the best lights I've ever had. These are half the price, and you can kind of tell why. And in this instance, you definitely get what you pay for. So with that being said, thank you for watching. I hope this was informative, and have a good night or day, whatever it is, wherever you are. I'm gonna start boxing this back up. Cheers.